hey hello and welcome again to my channel and today I'm just going to do a short video um, I'm doing some um, steamed cabbage it's a, it's a, a steamed cabbage with some bell peppers it's a lovely steamed cabbage and carrot uh, medley that I'm going to put together and uh, let's go to those ingredients and let's check things out Well, first of all, I have here, it's a small head of cabbage, which I have um, sliced very thin. And uh, because you don't want them in big chunks, you want, you want to, even if you have a, if you have a mandolin, you can use that, or you can just take your hand, just use a knife and cut them very thinly, you know, like this in strips. You want it in strips. Okay. And to that, we have some carrots. I did about uh, three or four carrots. I used the man, sorry, I used the mandolin for this, and um, and the bell peppers. I just julienne them with a knife. I just cut them. I did. I did some green bell peppers, some orange bell peppers, and some yellow bell peppers. And over here, our seasoning, our seasonings that we're gonna use: some garlic, onions. I did a lot of onions and some thyme thyme and some cilantro we're going to do that we're going to put these all fresh all these fresh vegetables in there so um to those fresh vegetables we're going to enhance, enhance them with some complete seasoning some garlic powder and i'll even put some a little bit of cumin for some smoky um uh for a little smoky texture um, a little smoky flavor and some dry oregano i'm going to put in some there and we're going to put these uh these four things in there and um also the chicken bouillon chicken bouillon can't forget the chicken bouillon that's an enhancer so we're going to put some chicken bouillon in there and spice it up so these are the ingredients. This is what we're going to use. And of course, you need some olive oil and a very good pot. Maybe a wok if you have a wok or if you have a deep uh, bottom pot, you can use that. But let's go get our pot heated up with some olive oil and we'll start the process. So I have my pot heating up here, my skillet. And to the skillet, we're gonna first add some, we're gonna first add our onions and our aromatics. We're gonna add our aromatics in there. Here I have the onions, the thyme, garlic, and the cilantro. I'll need to let these saute for a while, get the flavor out, and let them cook for a little bit before we add the bell peppers. So this is going to go for maybe about a minute and then we're going to be back. Bell peppers are in. I'm going to stir these around. Let them get coated with that seasoning. To this we're going to add some garlic powder right now. Two chicken bouillon. I'm 
some complete seasoning. With that in it, and in goes the carrot. developing the flavor right now. To ensure that everything has a wonderful flavor with seasoning. A little bit of kosher salt, about a half a teaspoon. And in goes the cabbage. And I try to loosen them up. You know. Once they cook, they'll be they'll loose up on their own. But to make it quicker, it would cook quicker if they just saw it, you know, loose and not in thick bunches. So just try to do that. So we added our carrots, or we added our uh, cabbage, you know, and we did this in a mix, a sorry mix. That's pretty large. cabbage is doing its thing here. Yeah. I think you might need a little more seasoning here, so let's just check it out. Garlic powder. Complete seasoning. Chicken bouillon. I put the exact measurements. Because right now we think we have two teaspoons of chicken bouillon in there. About one teaspoon of, uh, of complete seasoning. Now, I'm just going to add a little bit of water, maybe a quarter cup of water. And I'm cooking on medium low. Added some butter. I've added a couple of tablespoons of butter and uh, the juice of half a lemon. That's going to take a little, the little bitterness out of the cabbage and just enhance the flavor. 
Lemon does a great job. Mmm. This is almost done. Just has to get a little more. Still nice and crunchy, and that's all you want it. Nice and crunchy. So give it another 30 seconds and we take it off. We're done. So this is an awful, awesome side dish you can serve with some rice and peas or meats. It could be a veg vegetarian meal. Um, you can do lots of stuff, but it's just a side. You can serve it with meat, chicken, goat, pork, beef, anything. Sauteed cabbage. Once again, like, share, and subscribe and follow these recipes and you have great meals every time. Thank you. I'm Chris from Chris's Caribbean Delights.